morning. Hope everyone had a awesome trading day. I, if it matters to you at all, I had a very nice trading day. Um, I had a very difficult trading day because my kids were home today, and uh, tomorrow school starts. Good luck to the parents out there. We're gonna have the whole uh, kids home um, tomorrow. Uh, my kitchen table looks like will be a. Uh, uh, my kids' school for at least till November 15th, they say, so we'll see. Anyway, um, I wanted to recap, uh, if you guys watched my last video, I threw up a couple trades from the trade room and some stuff I was looking at. Um, I think I threw up three trades. Let me bring up a toss, hold on a second. I was a little bit bearish on my analysis of the S&P. Um, as you, you know, I was waiting for really this blue circle down here price to come down here. Um, but it went back up as, you know, it's overnight in the futures. Uh, if you hear the kids in the background, I'm trying to make this video as quickly as possible because everyone has some food and watching a little TV or doing some crafts in my daughter's case. So we're going to try and run through this fast before they come interrupt me. So uh, the Bank of America trade and the AXP trade didn't get down there. Um, wouldn't be shocked if maybe tomorrow on AXP. Let's just do a quick review and then we'll go into Tesla. Uh Here's a trade. I think last night I was showing it from the trade room. Um, Mitch's view on stuff. Uh, oh, I'm not going to label that one right now. But right now, we wouldn't be shocked if it pulls back a little into this area here. Uh, we have a backup trade here. When I say a backup is, you know, the next trade. Hopefully this one works and they both work. But I always like to be prepared. Just a habit of mine after doing this for so long. Um, when price gets down here, you know, we'll look to be a buyer or, you know, maybe call buyer. Um Big trade, trade that kind of makes your week when it happens is when you're ready. And the real way to make it work for you is just to be, you know, being the trade already uh, is a tough trade. But if you see here, I had labeled this area here as a potential reversal point for Tesla. I made it larger than I should have um, just because there's a little bit of like gappiness in here. And it made me, I was really worried more about, um, uh, like getting knocked out of the trade and the trade working, you know, kind of just kiss this little like front line here and then jumped up there. But let me throw the risk reward percentages on here. Okay. So it got to two, you know, 2.5%, uh, drawing the lines kind of the way I normally would have. So this trade home run, you know, I mean, even I did that analysis the other day. Hopefully go watch the last two videos. I did the analysis, even just doing some small shares in Tesla, even if you trade 10 shares. Now you absolutely could just go buy the calls. Calls are a little expensive right now. I know it's expensive stock calls are going to be expensive, but like you might be overpaying for volatility. So, a lot of people, you guys that I'm talking to, um, don't like selling options. I completely understand it. Um, there's a right way, a wrong way to do it. Um, if it's not in your comfort zone, I always, I always tell people, don't do it. Not in your comfort zone. So even on a 10 share block on this, the buy in Tesla at 332 and getting out on, let's just say 364 is where you got out. I mean, $32 move. It's $320 on 10 shares. That's a 10% move. Um, for holding this, the close yesterday into the close today, and you're out. Uh, pretty nice. Could this keep going higher? And there, oh, let's look at the S and P. We'll see if there's some room to go. Um, yes, but today you had up until the bell rang at four o'clock. You had until this this kept moving right up until the close. So either getting out at two to one and just booking profits, fine. If you wanted to maximize them, going into the close is the right way to do it. Um, there is still more ups. Let me get rid of that. Oh, I had a screenshot in the middle of the day. Yeah, I just wanted to label where it was. See that right there. Um, it pulled back a little bit. I wanted to be prepared to kind of show this in like slide formation if I needed to. But there is some still upward uh, plenty to go here. I can see this going above three to one. Um, I prefer just being, I'm happy to be out of the trade. So uh, let's look at the S&P. This is the weekly chart, but let's go down to the like a two hours. And this will do. And see what it's doing. It's 7.30 in New York. Uh, not doing anything. I mean, it's up seven points. Could easily just reverse from here. Um, could see it's slowing down a little bit in this little area. I'm not putting this as a trade. I'm just kind of keeping this on my my purview here. Hmm. Really, it's not great um, to to take this short, but this has some more upside potential. Uh, very easily could just reverse. I'll make these candles a little bigger for you guys. Um, you know, it's headed upward. 
Let's see. I, I like to think these things act like magnets and so on. So I think Tesla still has some upshot left in it. Um, but here's the trick, right? And here, you know, this is labeled the real, um, uh, the the real trick to making this trade work for you is, you know, to be ready. Number one, have a plan. Let me write this down for you guys. I'll put this in the email notes, but I want to put it in video too. I have a plan. To enter the trade. I don't know where to close it. Know how to maximize your opportunity. So you so it's your trade. Those three elements will get you pretty far. Um, and I like these a lot. Uh, if you really wanted to maximize this, you'd hang on to it a little bit longer. Um, but that involves risk. This is very easily to just wind up opening up again back down here. Uh, why go through that? Right now, the futures are doing nothing. The futures have been open for an hour and a half. Um, you know, that's not going to tell you a whole lot. As it gets later, you'll start to get a feel for things or tomorrow morning. Um, there is still upside potential. I can see... Uh, Oh, my dog is bothering us. Maxwell, come over here. Come on video. And then I could see price winding up in here as, like, a next logical point. Um, let me make that a dog line. Boom. All right, yeah. So I think that's the next logical point where it's going to wind up. Um, again, even though there's profit in there, I, that's not part of my plan. My plan is enter there, capture some cash out of the trade. Um uh, if I was able, if it was cheaper to buy the calls, I would have bought the calls, but you have some, some other risk going on there that if volatility pulls back a little bit, that the trade starts to get a lot harder. Um, so that's a chat for another day. So it just made it a little too risky to buy calls. Um, but that's a nice way to, uh, maximize your gain here because you have so much less risk. But anyway, that's it for now. I want to keep this quick. So my kids haven't come interrupted me. Just, just my dog so far. Um, uh, but we'll get him on video one day too. So, uh, sorry if this looks like a hostage video, but like I said, the kids are being quiet and, uh, tomorrow's a big day. School starting. If you guys, like I said, if you have kids and, uh, you're going to be working from home, uh, I don't envy you. Of, uh, I feel for you. Um, my kitchen table, hopefully it's going to be a good school for them for the next couple months. And, uh, um, you know, hopefully it works out, but for now, um, loving your feedback and your questions. Hopefully when I send you a message or I reply to your email, just let me know you got it. I appreciate the, the question and I want, you know, I want you guys to know that. Um, hopefully you guys like these trades and you know how they're working out for you. Um, something that goes this far is pretty cool. Uh, on a simple three, I think I said it was over three hundred dollars of profit on just ten shares of Tesla. So that's three thousand on on hundred shares. Um, expensive, but the good way to go. So anyway, I'm gonna call a night now, and uh, I will get this out to you shortly. And uh, look forward to hearing from you again. Talk soon, guys. Bye.